Hey there, everyone. This is Rao Cow playing Vip One or Mix One, depending on your order of magnitude. Anyways, World One still going on. Let's do the right path here. This level would be Kahal Thrill Lift. A pretty, a pretty osmosic name. No Yoshi's allowed because they keep on uh, making misses on the lifts. And if we're gonna have a thrill of a lifetime, stepping on Dookie, although very emotional, isn't quite what you'd call a thrill. So, I guess we're on Super Whoa. This is Super Happy Block Time Puzzle League. Should there are more platforms than block? That's okay. So yeah, thrill lift levels are levels all about lifts and the thrill within. Look how thrilled I am shimmying down like a lumberjack. Okay, so yeah, that was a demo. See that even though we're having a good time, Boone is still at his most vulnerable. That silly goose. What the hell is that? That was a demo. See that uh, fashion waits for no one. That's another demo. See that the sky is not very fashion conscious, but it's still quite dangerous. It's not the sky's fault. It just never really could figure out how to wear a tie, and that just... Freaking lord, stupid squiggly thing. I don't even know what these are supposed to be like. Ja freaking, 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 okay? I hope my loud exclamation of anger have been sufficiently delightful. Yeah, so let's just kind of enjoy the ride here. It's, it's not that much of a thrill, but I mean, we're gonna meet more later. I say it wasn't that much of a thrill, I managed to die like five times. Super rope adventure with coins! Uh, because it can't be an adventure unless you're getting paid. Uh, or something. Yeah, this place is kind of tricky because you need to hang on to the rope. Hanging on on the underside. Hello there, little pointy thing. Now we're gonna jump for no reason, but other than why not. I like to hold on to you. You don't even have to hold up. You just need to make sure like that the very, very itty bitty itty bitty bitty tiny top of the rope and you'll be fine you'll be perfectly fine you'll be able to eat a sandwich without a day's notice now that is what I call the 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 very edge of luxury that's not quite a good anyway something there is a spot this would be called uh, well oyster left a little essay here if this is an underwater level, I would call it the Eternal Pufferfish Terror. If it's not an underwater level, I would call it the Eternal Crippling Terror. Yes, the word for pufferfish and cripple are the same. Well, I know for a fact that it is indeed Eternal Pufferfish Terror, starring Boone here. As you can see, there's some water involved, and there's some hills involved, and there's Joy McLeod there involved. But he's a, hey there little fish, you are kind of there. You're not exactly little, but that is okay for me. Yeah, so uh, this level is all about Mr. Puffy fans here. We're just gonna ditch Yoshi because he's kind of nullifying every and every and every sense of challenge a level of two gentle mob manner puffer fish could present. I mean, come on, look at them. Just swimming down there. Big old flashy lips and uh, swimming in peace and harmony. They're gonna feed on these old people later on in the. Whoa, there's a third one. I did not expect that. This is getting kind of overkill and it's kind of slowing down the camera quite a bit, but that's okay. It's all, all for the sake of one little sick little boy, probably has cancer or something. Everyone is always in a hurry to, you know, take advantage of those little kids. I mean, that's pretty much all the purpose they serve anymore. Now we're suddenly on the freaking temple of fishes. This tem temple usually used to be for Poseidon or something, because he used to veneer fish like, like fish, wow! They're scaly and they have gills. Let us worship them and make prayers just for them, and then perhaps ask for favors like Garden Claw. That's a demo, because that was a very stupid, stupid, stupid wish. Suddenly we're going in an auto-scrolling area, because Boone suddenly, he can't just go back. He has to move forward. Suddenly, the very grasp, or should I say gasp, of progress is invading Boone's little banana-shaped mine as it moves forward and more forward and ever in a frontal direction and stuff and always as ever the proverbial shovelmatic stuff hey there grandpa that's daddy cool chucking hammers like it was Notre Dame yeah Notre Dame was pretty uh, was pretty famous for its uh, hammer chucking competition, right, Gecko Cat? He's not a gay, it's Gecko, but I don't know. Pronunciation of words is very difficult, especially when there are words I am aware of. That's a free life, why not give it over there? 
And also, I kind of could not not get hit there, but that's okay. At least we get some money, and we get to walk on some sort of aqueduct. I mean, I don't know about you guys. I don't get to walk on the aqueduct very well that one. Then the water disappears. I guess Boone, by crossing the threshold, flushed a great eternal toilet. Let's go ahead here. Uh, what, what does uh, Oyster have to say? The submerging devices oscilloscope or castle. Damn it, where's my kanji? Yes, I'm the submerging devices castle. I'm gonna be, so I guess there's gonna be some submerging devices. Devices that serve for the purpose of uh, submerging, like ballasts or uh, perhaps a pancreas. That's pretty awesome. Anyways, there's water. There's a skeleton scooter cat. He's pretty cool. There's a swimming mace. That it has pretty good pie making skill, but that's pretty much. They're throwing kanji, and I don't know what it is. I know it's a, it's a two chan joke, but it's a joke I am not private to. There's Tooth Man. He's a tooth guy. He's cool. You, you, go ahead and trust your life savings with him. He will totally only steal about half of it, but I mean at least he'll let you the other half. There's a lot of swinging chains here, and I don't know if they're trying to mix up the water or something, because it's clearly not working. Considering it barely has any waves, this is the most inefficient use of gravity I have ever witnessed with my own nose. I can smell gravity. Oh, I know, I didn't want to say that out loud because I have caused many, many a bout of intense, frustrating jealousy. And I did not want to invoke that upon you innocent basket weavers out there. Sometimes, however, the truth has this thing where it just has to come out. This is a 3-up moon, it's a moon that gives you 3 lives. Nintendo never really went and explained why life would be worth a third of a moon. I, I guess you could buy a moon if you killed 3 people, or you managed to die 3 times. This is getting confusing and laxative. Anyways, here's uh, here's our friend Iggy. He's pretty much the same, so there's two random potabos there. That's pretty awesome. Random potabos always there for a party, but never there for the cleanup. Oh, freaking lord, I'm playing like an idiot too, but that's, that's on purpose. Because you see, the abject failure is always and ever will be hilariously entertaining. What kind of sauce do you think I enjoy on my Parmesan cheese? I don't, because I can't eat cheese, but that's a figment of imagination for another time. Now the point is, we've totally, completely obliterated World 1, and it went, it went quite well, I have to say. Then again, it is World 1. Thank you also, Egg, that doesn't speak Japanese, although the explosion is... I have no idea what is being said there. I never asked Oyster what was written in them screens, but that's okay. Today is a day where there's a day. The sun went up. That's a good indication. Unless you live somewhere crazy where the sun goes sideways and pretty much ignores you because you are not liked. That is a very sad thing to say. Oh no, oh no, something, something, and other vagueness. Let's look, this, see, this is where we're gonna be next. Yes, next time. Join me next time. This is Rao Kao, saying things out of order. Join me next time where we're going to Amorse World 2, which appears to be some sort of prairie level, just like World 1. Now, this is what I call applesauce. I, I have a lot of trouble at, uh, at restaurants, I have to say. Anyways, this is Rao Kao, guys. See you guys. See you. Say bye-bye now.